Okay. Uh, so let's say you have a logo, right? This is your logo. And this is the shape for some reason that's... Anyway, this is your logo, right? Uh, now, it the size of your logo will depend on whatever you need it to be used and the file type is going to be exported at. Uh, if you want to show it to your client, okay, uh, then the, uh, this is for example going to be a brand guideline or like you're designing the logo for your client, okay. Uh, this is uh, 1920 by 180. Uh, yeah, whatever. So you resize it. Uh, you you want to do a dark version for no reason. Or whatever you do. Uh, scale. Copy, paste, bring it up front. Make the background dark. Make the font white. Anyway, let's say you have something like this, right? And this was supposed to be centered, but whatever. Uh, when you run this prototype, you want the logo to be actually, okay, actual size. You want the logo to look somehow like this, okay? I guess this is an, a good size to showcase the logo. Uh, but there's no fixed size, okay? Now, when we talk about exporting the actual logo, it will depend uh, depend on when where it's going to be used for example uh, let's let's Wikipedia let's go to Wikipedia uh, if you take a look their logo I mean it's probably an SVG but it's beside the point besides the point so the size of the logo is actually 176 by 32 pixels Ideally, if you export it as a PNG and uh, your developer wants to use it as a PNG, uh, it should be twice the size it's going to be rendered because it will look blurred on retina displays. So in our case, uh, 176 times 2, which is uh, whatever it is, okay, 352. Okay, this only matters if you want to export it as a PNG. If you export it as a JPEG, it probably won't be useful for web development and design because uh, PNGs, uh, JPEGs will have a white background around them so it will only work if the background of the website is actually white. Anyway, in our case and in this case, Wikipedia's case, this is probably uh, an SVG. No. Yeah, so these are a SVG files, okay? If we zoom into these, they will stay sharp no matter how much we zoom. Let's, okay? We zoomed up to 500%, it's the maximum we can go. If you look, the Wikipedia font is always sharp, it's never pixelated. Okay? And we can do the same exact things thing in uh, Figma. We can select our logo, go to export, and pick SVG and then we're gonna export you can see that we don't even have uh, uh, upscale sizes for it because it doesn't matter SVG's font will scale up uh, SVG files will scale up to infinity they're vector files and they will always look sharp let's open this up for example and we if we zoom this logo you can see that it's also scalable so the resolution is irrelevant in our case if we use SVG files. Uh, but yeah, if you're gonna use PNGs or JPEGs, there is no standard logo size. It will depend on where it's going to be placed and how it's going to be used. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's how I usually do logos and uh, that's how I size them, depending on the place I'm going to use them. So, yeah.